Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 16 match, game number one between Serafino and his Wood Elves up against Olivier Dulac and his Wood Elves. Serafino won the toss, chose to kick. Um, very exciting Wood Elf mirror. I can tell you that Olivier Dulac is French, qualified from Von de Gob League. And Serafino is Italian and qualified through Wild Thing Studio Wild Cup. So there you go, both PC coaches. And yeah, very interesting build from Olivier. He's gone double sidestep, frenzy, and a jump up tree. Now, I'm not a fan of the jump up tree, I have to say. Not my cup of tea. But I actually really like the sidesteppers. Do a great job. Let's him, you know, gives him side con sideline control and also helps him do one-turners and stop one-turners. So really, really, actually really nice with them. I mean, I would definitely prefer, you know, a wrestle and a dodge or two dodge rather than the jump up tree. It does mean he's only got two re-rolls and an apothecary because he's gone for the four catches rather than two catches and a thrower, which is the normal build, which you can see Serafino has the normal build in terms of player composition. But Serafino has gone a, for a strangely one-turn orientated team here with a grab tree, a frenzy dancer, and a sprint catcher rather than a sidestep. And I do prefer the utility of sidestep rather than just the, uh, the sprint. But, you know, he's got the leader throw, which is more normal as well, and the double wrestle. But he doesn't have the double dodge catchers. So, yeah, interest, interesting non-standard wood elf builds here. I must say I do prefer Strider's build if you're going with a tree, and I prefer K-Fog's build without the tree to both of them. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's certainly interesting. Like they're not bad builds, right? They're just different. And I I actually really do like the sidestep. If you, if you can get a second sidestep, so like Strider's got a sidestep dancer, hasn't he? So I guess you could swap either the dodge or the wrestle for a sidestep, so you still get two sidesteppers. It's pretty good. But you know, the Frenzy Dance is good as well. It's interesting. Very interesting builds. Hot wood on wood action. This is game one. All to play for. Woody Mirror's going to be pretty dicey, I think. I think there's going to be a lot of dice involved in these games. Uh, you know, inevitably they're going to have to you know, be making dodges and strip attempts and stuff like this. Yeah, it's, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, like, it's funny. Sidestep is good. It's good. It's, it's just a good skill anyway, right? Like, the thing is, the sidestep's a good skill anyway. Like, straight away, like, you know, if you watched some of Olivier's games, you know he was having, like, he was always putting the sidestep as holding the sideline and stuff, and it is good. And he's got, he's got a frenzy with the, uh, you know, so he's got complete sideline control, right? If you blitz this guy from here, then he's going to sidestep on you and surf you and stuff, so, like, it's really good, the sidestep, but uh, I don't, I, do, I, I just don't like, I, I just prefer sidestep, I, I just don't like sprint, but... Um, Serafino apparently was on the Italian Euro Bowl team, and I assume he's taken stuff like this before. And, you know, just because I d don't like it doesn't mean it's wrong. Um, but I certainly would prefer sidestep, personally. I do think the Wood Elves will probably get this one, yeah. Ginger Badger, yeah. Yeah, I do fancy the Woodies to take this. I mean, it could be a draw, though, couldn't it? It could be a draw. So maybe the Woodies won't win this game, but they'll they'll definitely win the round. The Woodies will definitely win the round. Would prefer, yeah. Oh, fails the pickup. gonna re-roll that only two re-rolls for Olivier that is a weakness in his build isn't it most other people um, if they're taking the tree they're taking a leader thrower I think everybody else who took a tree took a leader thrower whereas 
If you don't take the tree, you just get the third reroll. I wonder, I wonder if, like, Olivier's reputation on tabletop will be good for him this game. Like, I wonder if Serafino will... Or bad for him. I wonder if Serafino will see himself as an underdog. And, you know, how much he'll have to... If he'll have to try and get lucky, you know, take more... Take more aggressive lines. Or if he'll... You know, be intimidated. Or maybe he won't be. Maybe he'll just think... Extra skills. So Olivier's has jump up, which is quite good in the mirror, isn't it? Actually, because now, often in the mirror, the trees fight each other, and his will just keep get keep getting back up. Um, and Serafino's has grab. Okay, so he's coming in with a one dancer. Annoying that the other dancer had to get out of the way, wasn't it? That was. I would not have blitzed with a frenzy. Out of Blitz with a strip, I, I definitely want. Like, if you, if you're gonna come through like this, I hundred percent want the strip coming through as well. So, while I see why he wanted the frenzy hit, I really, 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 really want the strip ball dancer in his neck of the woods. Get it? Probably should have done some safe moves here, right? He, he had this guy could have run through. Had this guy could have run through. Not loving that from Serafino, but he's got he's got players tagged and he's got a dancer in the opposing half, so things can happen. Things can happen. Just ask Dimmy. Roll the one, double one is disaster. He doesn't get to surf though, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. That was probably shouldn't have done that. But then I guess Olivier's got yeah, Olivier's got this guy in danger. And then he can use the sidestepper to close off that corner. No, nope, he's not going to. I guess it's more important that he calls off the corner properly, doesn't it? And then you can use him to protect him. Oh, rolls a one. This is uh, without dodge. I guess it's not easy to serve this guy, is it? Fair enough. Fair enough, but now we're definitely going to go in a bit harder. See, look how much better it was if this stripper was, like, in more reasonable range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, he's still basically in range. But it's not a great direction, is it? Uh, he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to come in here and... Which, I mean, maybe he does. So yeah, good defence from Olivier. It's a wood off. Surprised to use the blitz. Q 
giving up a dancer blitz. Giving up this hit. Interesting. Like this dancer could have come and assisted, right? And he could have blitzed and then he could have assisted there and punched him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My favorite varnish. Oh, because it's wood versus wood. Um, I don't care about wood varnish. Oh, he's gone. He's taken. No, no, he didn't take it. He was dodging away. I thought he was going to punch. So they both dodged away and rolled a one. And now the trees are facing each other. Cree assault. I mean, I don't really have a favorite. I'm not a, I'm not an expert on wood. No, Olivia has 7:30. It's just a display bug. It often uh, it often says two minutes. I don't know why. There's 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 a reason for it, but I don't know what the reason is. And sometimes it says seven thirty. It says two instead of seven thirty. But once, oh my God, there's a cars 3D with frenzy, lovely. Seriously hurts. I can't really apple it. Respectful word. I always use coasters. How dare you? How very dare you? If only this was all. All world alliance. Flip me. Um, I mean, it is a mirror, to be fair, Pedro. It is a mirror. Which makes it a bit. You know, it's always going to be a bit harder, isn't it? I think this is okay. Honestly, like, they've got the red and blue thing. I guess it is easier with the red and blue, isn't it? It is definitely easier. Okay, let's go red and blue. Though I do quite like these white ones. I think they look nice, the white and the red. But, um, Olivier's are unpainted. Sad. Mega bunker here. Love the mega bunker. I didn't like that. Serafino, like, you know, put pressure on and then relieve the pressure. I think you should have kept the pressure up. I think you should have kept the pressure up, honestly. I didn't I didn't like the the kind of reset turn there. I feel like the elf mirror is all about the pressure. Good. Has uh, Serafino forgotten about this guy? Probably should have moved him already. I mean, you know, there's an argument he's going to rush with him. But realistically, you just got to get him up, right? You can base him, that's not useless. So he might have forgotten, right? He might have had, he might be zoomed in. No, nope, he hasn't forgotten him. The trees facing each other is funny, isn't it? Neither wants to risk an elf getting splattered by the tree, so they're just going to look at each other. It's not great, is it? It's not great, our Yeti. It's not great. Lyman should have been grey, right? Because, um... Actually, what I could do is I could just put the active teams ones on and remember to change it. I'll try to do that, see how long that lasts for. <laughs> it is the Blitz. Was blitzing a wrestler so a little bit risky?
Oh yeah, the chaffs are, I think, are bad now. Yeah. So lots of dodges here, right, for Olivia? Like, th these are going to be critical 1 in 36s. If he fails any of these... There's a stripper coming... Uh, actually, the stripper, the stripper keeps staying really far away. I'm not such a fan of how conservative Serafino is with his stripper. I want that stripper to see some action. Not uh, be left on the sidelines. But he made all of his critical 1 in 36s. And he's still alive. Yeah, chaffs are pretty bad now, which is good, isn't it? Everyone can be happy. Everybody can be happy about that. Oh, wow, he stuns. Olivier stuns Serafino's tree. And then, obviously, Olivier's will jump back up. <laughs> Actually, that is, the, yeah, the jump up, I didn't think about that, but the jump up for the mirror means that both downs are great for your tree because you knock the other one down who might fail to stand up while yours just stands up and walks away. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't think about it being good for the mirror, but it is kind of decent, yeah. Hello, Rolex. Wrestles him. Interesting. I think that's probably wrong. By the way, the, the strip is incredible here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're surely going to see the strip here. This is bad from Olivier, kind of. Because he's made this... He's made this formation against strip right but it's not against strip because it's easy to hit here so actually Serafino's deep stripper has paid off wonderfully because it's tricked Olivier he didn't think he needed a driver but he did need a driver one two three four five six seven strip comes out his whole team's here yeah he's going for it he's definitely going for it Flip me. The sprint is not in range. <laughs> One shot. Yeah, the strip looks real nice, doesn't it? He's just going to not mess it up. Yeah, there we go. Because you've got to jump from this square. You can't jump from this square anymore. You have to jump from that square. Gets the leap. Gets the 1D, gets the full power. Oh, fails the catch. Oh, and it goes out the back. Oh, well, he got a rubbish scatter from it, Serafino. Rubbish scatter. I tell you what, if this catcher was here, though, things would have been different, wouldn't they? Like, it was a good sacking opportunity, but it's a bad recovery opportunity, really. But he can still get around a bit and make this uncomfortable for Olivia. 2 3 3, probably wasn't worth it. Maybe it was. But it's, I don't think he's going to go for it. This dancer could get it right, he could, he could jump. He could have actually, like, jumped from there to there, and then 3-3 three, three picked it up. Wouldn't have even hated it. Honestly. Ah, he failed the 3 plus there. I like, I like the 3 plus there. To, like, hem people in, right? So, yep, yeah, still, still a problem for Olivia. Only two re-rolls, and things in the way. Tricky. Yeah, I think he probably should have tried to pick it up. You bought, you bought only six teams. Well done, Rolex. <laughs> do you have multiples of the same one, Rolex? Right, you must do, right? Because even with all of the Games Workshop ones and all of the third party ones, surely there aren't 511 unique ones. So do you have duplicates? of teams just like painted differently. Until you get them and glue them, they don't count, fair enough. Man, that, that was great, that ball down, wasn't it? And then running away. 
But this is, this is, this is tricky. This is very tricky for Olivier. It would have been super tricky if this guy had got there. Oh, I guess the power. Yes, dog to the dog, yeah. Yeah, honestly. But Olivia's only got two rerolls, so like, him using a reroll on the pickup is still good, and, you know, he's still got to try and get it safe and stuff, so... It's not terrible. But yeah, I, I feel like I would have wanted to go for the pickup as well. 1D. Another critical one in 36. He is... You know, he's making these critical rolls. Like, you know, they both will. They both will. Of course. In, over the course of the match. There's no way to avoid critical 1 in 36 rolls in an elf mirror. But so far, Olivier is making them. Duplicates don't count. Wow. That's actually incredible, Rolex, to have that many. He's going to hand off and run away, isn't he? can't run away because he can catch him. He, he can't run away. He just literally can't. So... <laughs> but then he has to. So I don't know what he's going to do. He is just going to run away. Yeah, he just he just has to. Like there there was no other choice, was there? Like he just had to. And then I guess he puts this here and and like hopes for the best there maybe. There. All to one. Doesn't one in thirty six. Puts him out. So it's a three two to two Dyson with wrestle. But yeah, he did put everybody in, didn't he? Maybe he shouldn't have put everybody in. Maybe this last catcher that failed should have been, like, back up, right? Or, or maybe this last wrestler. Maybe this last wrestler should have been this catcher in there and his wrestler should have been, like, behind the tree or something, right? Yeah, yeah, this is a potato, yeah. <laughs> Though a bit different when it's like a recovery potato. No, it's not great at all. He's got to like hit him back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hit him back and then he's blocked his path for this guy coming out. One, two, I guess he needs to do one or two anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, pass. Rush, rush, pass to him. His thrower, is th this thrower, I like the spot for the throw, but the problem was, yeah, maybe the thrower needed to stay deep, right? Maybe the thrower needed to stay deep, so that if there was a breakaway, he could wrestle it down and then the thrower could throw it. There was a coach called Potato Hyperbrain. There was a coach called Potato who played in some league, and he used to do that routinely. <laughs> He never, he never protected the ball and stuff. He just ran the opposing half <laughs> and hoped to not get knocked over all the time. And then from that, it was coined as a thing. That was his strategy, <laughs> if you can call it that. He's not blitzing with wrestle. Dude. Dude, your wrestle is right there. Nah. Nah. Like, I know this makes for a better recovery. But, like, nah. <laughs> You've got a wrestler. Like, you have to hit him with a wrestler, don't you? Like, this wrestler has to get back. He just ha has to get back to here. He has to be ahead of the catcher.
Now, I don't think he can be here because he can run away. He had to be one. He had to be there. He rolls there. I mean, this is this is Serafino's tree, and so like Olivier can't really move him. <laughs> Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, I wouldn't have done that instantly from what Olivia's done, I think, is incorrect. Because this one could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he could have blitzed this guy, pushed the catcher forward, and then the catcher would have completely got away from the wrestler. And got out on a 2+. I guess he's coming back. I guess the catcher's coming back because it's turn six and he's handing off to a dancer. I guess is what's happening. Like this dancer's coming up to here or here. Yeah, it is too soon by one turn. Yeah, but he could have also he could have also just run away for this turn, right? He could have also just run away for this turn and then come back next turn. Like, he can get stripped again by coming back now. So, oh, he's going over here. Okay, he's going over here. Okay, this is pretty good, isn't it? It's a rush, though. It's a rush for the dancer. He's not handing it off to the dancer. The stripper is absolutely in range. Ah, so he closes off the strip way. To be fair, the frenzy's kind of fine too. Okay, more players inside. The rush is probably the best thing you could do there, but he's not going to do it. So now it's what? It's the leap in is a 5 plus leap. Which is very difficult, isn't it? So... I, I've honestly kind of hated where the strip ball dancer has been every single turn. <laughs> but I think it did suck at Olivia a little bit because it looked so far away. So it, maybe it did work being where it was. Maybe now he's okay for like a reset turn, right? Get stuff back this turn, maybe. Maybe not terrible. Yeah, maybe not terrible. But... Like, it, he did get better recovery by recovering with a wrestle, but... Oh, man, it seems it seems wrong, doesn't it? It does seem wrong to not, to not blitz with the wrestle. Pushes the catcher into range. No, it doesn't. Just goes into a one. Oh, he was in a one anyway, wasn't he? I thought this guy was assisting, but he just wasn't. So even if he pushed him up, it wouldn't have mattered. But this catcher is in range. But yeah, he's not going to score this turn, obviously. He's just going to dodge everything out. He's got two pluses. He's got two pluses for everything. This guy was much better here. He needs somebody in here, but he's got nobody left. So everything just comes out in a 2 plus. 1, 2, 3, 4 players come out in a 2 plus. 
and this just needs a 3-2. And that saves two of them rolling a two plus at all. But the stripper is active. So. Olivier still has to be careful. We are going to hand off to the dancer now. I wonder if this one can go all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can make a screen. That's pretty good, isn't it? Getting the screen on a two plus. I like just here. And then you can try the three two at the end to complete the cage. Oh! There's a one. No critical one. Oh my goodness. And the triple dodge. No critical one in 36 fails for Olivier. Not even, not even one in six fails. Like, <laughs> hasn't even need to re-roll anything. Pretty, pretty charm dice for Olivier this game. What that tells me is the very first critical one in 36 that Serafino makes attempts will just instantly fail. Like this has been, I don't know, about eight, nine or ten for Olivier, critical one in 36s. Past everyone. I really don't like doing this dodge before this one, right? Puts in a reroll. This one coming to here has got to be better. Or wherever it goes there. Oh, maybe he's going to like 3 2 out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then rush. Or maybe he's not even rushed, doesn't need it, does he? Yeah, fair enough. 3 2 in is pretty good. Because this, this, the strip is dangerous. So. 5 plus sleep in. It's not great. But it probably has to be done, honestly. Probably has to be done, right? Catch it there, treat it there. Leap in, pow him to here. And you've got the ball, recovery, handoff, pass, end zone. Nothing back for Olivier. So, yep. We're going to see some dice, five plus leap in. Problem for Serafino was only one reroll. He did chuck two rerolls at the earlier attempt, didn't he? He did sink in two re-rolls at the last attempt. So he's only got one for this. Grass does not have my e blow. <laughs> you could go there and just put it on one, and then this could come down for that guy. Could have made some safe moves first, but he's just going straight for it. Makes the 5 plus leap, gets the one dice, gets the push. Obviously, push it this way. 50-50 on a good scatter. Oh, it's not a good scatter. Oh, it's so not a good scatter. Wasn't 50-50, was it? In retrospect, it wasn't 50-50 for a good scatter.
So we can leap in again on a 5 plus. No, 4 plus leap. And then 4 plus, 2 plus out. 3. Wait, no, 2. 3, 4, 5. Down to 4. Yeah, 4 plus leap in. Then 4, 2 out. And then 2 plus handoff. Yep. That's a 5 plus pickup as well. Forgot to mention the 5 plus pickup. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Handoff. In fact, it's half to this one. He hasn't done a handoff. And he hasn't left in. Well. He's going for the more conservative route. Has to keep this guy's a scoring threat. Last re-roll gone. Absolutely has to leave this guy's a scoring threat. Must be you, Tuk Tuk. And all the ones for Serafino. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I'm, I guess. The problem is, if you scatter it, half of the scatters are real bad, right? Like, if it scatters around here, it's really bad. So you can try to knock some people out of the way. But you're not going to get all of them out of the way. You're not going to get the tree out of the way. So you're going to have to probably 3-2 three, three, to score. After everything. Which is okay. He's got a reroll, hasn't it? He did get the 5 plus sleep, yeah. <laughs> um, well... Don't want to go for full Artemis. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I didn't. I didn't like where his stripper was most turns. Um, but you know, that's not the end of the world, is it? I didn't. I, I, I like both turns. He went for the ball. Didn't really have much choice to do those turns. And yeah, he could have done things differently, but is what it is. He made he made Olivia make a lot of two plus crucial two pluses. Um, which again doesn't get you anything if Olivia makes them. <laughs> but you know there, there there were there were a lot of critical two pluses that Olivia had to make. And uh, and then there was a four plus leap in and a five plus I mean you can't really stop five plus leaps in can you? Well I guess you could have hedge caged. He could have hedge caged to make it like he could have rushed with this last guy right to make the six plus leap in. Um, but again, Olivia's only got two rerolls, so it's hard for him to do that because it's hard for him to make the extra rolls. Mm. Hate such a strong word. Such a strong word. Dog to the dog. <laughs> Okay, he's dodging. And he finally fails at critical 1 in 36. There you go. He's made a lot of them. He has made a lot of them. He can't really feel bad at all about finally failing one. And now Serafino has a free roll for getting the counter score. Only two tackle zones to move. He does not, however, have a re-roll for this. He did fail one of the really key ones. I mean, he's made like 10 already. <laughs> so, and he's made 10 really key ones. Olivia. He really has. He's made, he's made lots of key 1 in 36s. Lots of them. So while he may be one of those people who always complains about the critical one when it finally comes, um, he shouldn't be one of those people. <laughs> he should be thinking, well, I made a lot of them. One was going to fail eventually. 
Has he blitzed? I mean, if he hasn't blitzed, then you've got to blitz this guy, right? And then throw with your thrower. I don't think he's blitzed. So you can blitz this guy, and then what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hand off, and then pass it. Hello, surveillance. He can't, he's too far away to just hand off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's two squares away from handing off. But he hasn't, oh, he's gonna blitz with a wrestle? He's not blitz with a frenzy. He's just gonna blitz with a wrestle, I guess. He dodged. He, oh no, he blitzed. He had blitzed. He blitzed with a wrestler. Oh my god, he blitzed with a wrestler. Okay. So. He failed anyway. <laughs> Long story short, he failed. He had blitzed. Yeah, okay. I couldn't see the icon. I was looking at the standing up players for the icon and couldn't see it. But of course, it was because it was on the ground. <laughs> is, why, is why I couldn't see it. It was the wrestler. The wrestler had done it. I mean, Serafino didn't make any critical one in 36s, right? Cosmigo, that's the thing. Uh, he, Serafino's on defense, so like none of Serafino's one in 36s were critical. Now this half, Serafino will have critical one in 36s, right? Because Serafino will have to be like dodging with a ball, dodging to complete a screen, etc, etc. Um... The, the the dodges for Olivier won't be critical in the same way as they were in the first half. And uh, yeah, hello surveillance. Yeah, it was Olivier's offense. It's nil nil. Now it is Serafino's. Super interesting. Woody off. Catcher cast for Serafino down to ten players. So Olivier won a little bit in the first half. It's not over. No, no, I mean absolutely Olivier can win this 1-0, right? Right. Funny enough, if he'd run away when I would have run away, he would have got the scoring at least. <laughs> Just quietly. <laughs> But, um, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that before. Right? It was, you know, just, there's lots of dice, isn't it? I would have, I would have liked the running away with a catcher that turn, but, you know. Yeah, I, I do as well. I, there's a lot to be said for just scoring when you're up against, like, you know, strip ballers and stuff. There's a lot to be said for banging it in. Um, yeah, yeah. We've seen him do Skaven one turn touchdowns, which are only one square easier. So, I assume he's up there. And, you know, he's top ranked Skaven overall NAF coach. So, one would imagine he can one turn quite well with Wood Elves. But obviously not as good as with Skaven, because they're not as good as Skaven. <laughs> Worst kick for Serafino in that he has to reroll the pickup if it fails. He's not getting on an answer either. Which is uh it's a choice. He is out of range of the dancers but not a range of the linemen. So he's rushing, so he's making, he's made himself do an extra critical one in 36 there. Yeah. Olivier could both down this and jump up. <laughs> grab to push in. The only square he could have pushed in without grab. <laughs> but you know, the grab's decent. He can use it for the... Well, he could have used it for a one turn if he'd had the chance. 
Olivier being very aggressive. This is the thing, I, I like the aggressive defense in this matchup because it just makes the other L's roll critical one in 36s, right? And Olivier is a player up, so... He's a player up and... So not only is Serafino a player down, he also has to worry about the ball as well. Which makes him like... Not really another player down, but like, you know, it's something, isn't it? Is he going to give it the dancer, the friendly dancer, or...? <laughs> like, I feel you've got to have an oblodger, right? Because... You don't want to get one D stripped and like you know get no like you still he's, the dancer's still going to get one D stripped, but at least he's going to be standing afterwards. So there we go. So a couple of one in thirty six crucial already for Serafino. That one was pretty up there actually. <laughs> Lovely stun. So very boxed in the sideline here, but that dodge is nice to get the screen out, isn't it? Not getting the screen out, putting go further penetration. Does the fall outrageous? Man, I love like the free rolling things at the end of the turn. I would have screened, right? I, I would have put this guy up here and had made a screen. Seems so weird to not screen at all. Like four, five, six, seven. He could have been a screen. Like screen. Unless you want him to come in this way. Unless it, unless it's you know, he thinks he wants to get blitzed here. But I don't want to keep the pressure off. Like, if you've got two here, he has to blitz this guy to get into it all. If he blitzes up there, then you've got loads of space here, right? If you've got a screen. I think that's really weird not to screen it. And he does, he does blitz the most forward character. And by the way, I'm definitely not saying that, uh, I'm just saying what I think. Um, you know, I'm sure Olivier and Serafino have played more Wood Elf, Naf style tabletop mirrors than I have. Um, 
French and Italian Euro Bowl teams and probably hundreds of games of tabletops. So I'm not saying I'm right and they're wrong, but it seems really weird to me to not to not just stop it right. To not just, just just stop this possibility completely. That's the thing. I like to just stop the chances of things. Even if they're not a particularly bad thing. Yeah, there's the thing, he gets the he gets the tree in. Like even if it's not a particularly bad thing, even if I don't think it's that bad, I still just don't want it to if I can stop it from happening completely, I'll stop it from happening completely. There's a big route out to the centre now, isn't there? I can blitz this, and in fact, you doesn't even need a blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can just fully walk to the middle here, which is quite good. I mean, you really want to get away from the tree now, right? Like, this was... So maybe... See, may, maybe Serafino didn't screen to sucker Olivia into moving the tree all the way over there. Like, what if this tree roots next turn? It's dead from the drive. So he's going to blitz with a wrestler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a rush to blitz with a wrestler. Or maybe the Frenzy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a rush blitz with a Frenzy as well. H cage. I'd love to see it. So this is a rush. Not a critical one in 36, but... Because, you know, the tree wasn't nece wasn't going to get chopped down by a dancer necessarily. H cage is really nice because now it's a 6 plus to dodge in, so... However, what's wrong with it? There, there is a weakness to the H cage, and um, I think we'll be seeing it next turn. Will Olivier go for this? I think he should. Let's see if he will. I can't say it, of course. I don't want any allegations of any kind of coaching or anything. But I know what I'd do. <laughs> okay, he's not going for it now, then. What I liked was putting a player here, um, blitzing this guy, push, push, and then two dice the ball. And I know he's a blodger, but still, two dice and the ball is pretty flipping good, isn't it? Seems better than frenzy trapping yourself. Dodging the frenzy trap yourself. But. It's really good having a cage on the tree, isn't it? Is Olivia going to rush again? He, he can't move his tree anywhere now. He's blocked his tree movement. So. The rush doesn't matter so much. Oh my god, double rush. Oh my god, that's outrageous. That's outrageous. Outrageous. Double tree rush. <laughs> outrageous. This sidestep was very annoying to hit as well, isn't it? It's good having these sidesteppers. Makes the blitz. Yeah, it is pretty good that you can just try these rushes and they're like just free, aren't they? Because if he falls over so white, he'll just jump up next turn. 
So yeah, yeah, indeed, Rainer. Yeah, I was, yeah, <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. The jump up makes the tree rushes look pretty great, actually. Actually, pretty great. Frenzy tree, all of his movement to punch. This is the frenzy, so that was pretty lucky that he uh, did that. Probably had to like make a dodge right and then hit with wrestles better. This seems a bit rubbish because he's not clearing him. I feel like this this guy dodging up to here and then hitting with wrestle and then you get to dodge everybody else away. This seems very bad because he still hasn't got two dice on him with a wrestle. Now he's just dodging. And we've got critical threes here, right? This is this is really dodgy for Serafino. Not even using this as a cage corner. And yep. He's got four rerolls, he must have won one off kickoff. So he's making these critical one in thirty sixes. There was a big mistake, I think, not dodging him out to hit with a wrestler. Now he's 3 2 in without dodge. Flip me. Oh my god, he nearly goes there anyway. Well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna make that dodge anyway, I think, yeah, I think he had to move this guy up there and then hit with wrestle. And then he would have had this guy able to dodge out. And this guy would have had a 2 plus dodge out as well. Gets all of the dice rolls this turn. Every critical roll passed here for Serafino. Typical L's. Both of them have passed nearly every critical roll they've had to make. The Frenzy looks less exciting now for Olivier doing something all the rolls yeah that was a lot of rolls wasn't it the fact that he didn't turn over and it only cost him one re-roll is Really, really lucky, honestly, for <laughs> for uh, Serafino. that contained one two three four five six seven eight nine so I think the stripper is coming or you can just go this way no no this is this is Serafino's tree one two three four five six seven eight nine to hit right if he wants to the problem is Olivia's only got two rerolls so and it's a pretty good ball sack attempt, though, isn't it? He's got he's got the dancer here. He's got the line on. He's got the catcher here. Does he re-roll? He does. He gets the four plus leap. He gets the strip. Oh no! <laughs> The worst square. <laughs> the worst square for Olivia. Flip me. <laughs> he does get the three dice, the glitzer now, though. The blitzer, the uh, dancer. Alright, a 
so this is a typical Olivier turn, isn't it? Everything's based. Away you go, lad. Solve this. And it's, uh, it's not easy, is it? We might see a bunch of critical rolls here from Serafino. He does get a hit there. Well, that might solve everything, might it? <laughs> I may have completely uh, hyped this up a bit too much. That initial hit gives him the 2D here, gives him the wrestle there, and gives him this. So, pretty easy, actually. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, he's just going to bang it in. Okay, he just bangs it in, does Serafino. Because now Olivia is only on one reroll himself. So now Serafino's got three rerolls to one. He can't lose. Yeah, okay, I don't like I don't. I don't hate that at all, right? Serafino cannot lose now. Olivier has one reroll, and and Serafino has three. Okay, well he has started with a ball, <laughs> which is quite nice. Those word dancers really excel. Oh dear, Rolex, you should be ashamed of yourself. Honestly, I don't hear that. I, it it looked like he could have made a safe cage. But it's only ever safe-ish, right? And if Olivier comes in again next turn, he might get it away. He's got the catcher there. I don't hate it at all. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Blitz of the wrestler, gets the pal. Big tree hit. Roots. Now, because he's rooted, he can take the boat down, right? Like, it's actually really good, isn't it? It's, oh, he wasn't hitting, he wasn't hitting the tree. He was hitting one next to it on 3D. Uh, I thought he was going to hit the tree. I thought he was going to hit the tree and then hit the other one. <laughs> Rolex, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I quite like the score there. Honestly, I do quite like the score there. Like, with not being 1-0 down, I would have hated it at 1-0 down. Because I'd feel like you're going to draw instead of, you know, you're going to lose instead of draw, right? But now, you'll, you've, like, you've got the win. You've got at least the draw, haven't you, with win chances, yeah. Uh, no, no, he had, he, had, he, had the, he had a catcher here, he had a catcher. So he had, he had players here and here. There was a player on each side here, and he had the catcher here, so he did have 2D on the tree. And instead he 3D'd the guy with the assist, because you know, he definitely had a player here, because it was a 3D. So it just, just seemed weird to me to get a 3D and then dodge them both when he could have 2D'd the tree and then 2D'd the other guy as well. But that must be the, the, you know, the way they play these elf mirrors. Uh, the tree was here. Like, the tree was giving him an assist. That's why I thought it was 2D. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was fine. I thought the score was fine. Oh, God, well... Yeah, he's got a H cage of this, hasn't he? Well, he can't H cage it. This guy's based. Oh, 
Oh God, Punter. Well, it's a five at the moment. This is just a five, and he can't make it a six because then, well, can he? No, probably not. No, he can't make it a six because you can just power him in then. So it's a five plus leap in or a four round the back. Presumably he'll cover round the back. No, so it's a four to there. One, two, three. I mean, if he powers the tree, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not easy to cancel the assists, though. And he's got sidestep on it as well. That's not easy, is it? It's not easy. Honestly, first things first is just get a guy into range. <laughs> Make Olivier worry about the potential of a scoring threat. only got the one catcher because uh, Serafino. So he could, he could run around, right? Three, four, six, seven, eight. And you can get the catcher to here. Didn't, but he could have done. Like, he doesn't need one in this turn. No, he does. It's turn 15. Yeah, he needs one in this turn. He absolutely needs a scoring threat this turn. It's turn 15. So, like, you have to have a scoring threat. Otherwise, Olivier just doesn't care, right? He can roll all of the dice to get forward without a care in the world. So, you have to... And I, I think it had to be a catcher. I think this catcher had to come back. I, like, come all through to here. Now, this guy can get into range, but again, could have already been in range. But it's a double rush to get into range. Like, double rush to score next turn, and he doesn't have catch. So I feel like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I would have been a rush to get to there. No, I don't like this. I don't like this because you're not. I mean, I guess you know you don't need to count. Oh my god, he's 1 0 up. Disregard. He's one nil. Let me just find a corner that I can hide in and pretend I know anything about the ball. I'm I'm gonna blame Punter and Rolex, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's not scoring. Yeah, he can't. He's got. He's got like. He's got frenzy and sprint and grab. He can't. He can't give Serafino the chance of the one turn. And in that case, um, Serafino should just made the rushes right to make this harder. Serafino should just made the rushes to make this harder. Right, like have, have dancer here and, and a, another dancer there or whatever, right? Or this lineman out here. That, like, you can't not get in the way. You can't not get in the way at all. Who cares if he serves somebody, right? You've got three re-rolls. Just put everything in to try and stop and score. So this guy could have rushed to there or something. These two could have both rushed to there. Use both your re-rolls on turn seven of the half and stop him scoring. So hate this turn from Serafino. <laughs> because he's just let him go past. He hasn't got a player here. He hasn't blitzed, has he? Olivier? He's just let him go down.
There's been a blitz. I haven't missed a blitz, have I? Olivia has somehow left an easy hit on the ball, which I can't say I'm okay with. Could go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Ends up that this this really saved the day, didn't it? Actually, this really saved the day. That was so weird. Why didn't Serafino get in the way? Like I know somebody might get surfed, but you one nil up. <laughs> I mean, I knew it. I knew he was one nil up. <laughs> but um, oof. oh man, it's so weird. Could I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, jump? No, it's better it's better just do this, isn't it? Probably. Oh, I could go around. I don't understand what Seraphina was trying. and then hit from here. Gets the strip. But he's got sidestep. So where does he go? Forward. Yeah, because he's got the screen out. Oh my god. Worst scatter for Olivier. Oh my god. He's got catch. But it's a six, isn't it? Or a five. Oh my god, he gets the six there. Wow. That, <laughs> that was heart and mouth for Olivier, wasn't it? If that had come out like into into just no tackle zones, but instead it goes back to his dancer. <laughs> wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man, I've got to say, last turn, Serafino had to roll more dice, right? He just had to roll more dice. I get that he wanted to keep the two re-rolls for the strip attempt. But, like, you've got to get in his way a bit. Like you've got to get away in his in his way a little bit, right? Instead of like, Olivier doesn't have to blitz at all. Like you have to get in his way at least a bit. This is interesting, isn't it? Because if he blitzes him, he'd have to jump over, he'd have to power him and jump over him, so he's got to, like, dodge and punch this guy, yeah? I don't think there's a way of doing anything without dodging. I think he has to do all 36. Yep. And then he gets the push. I mean, he could have just blitzed. I guess, yeah, no, it's better not blitzing 
Because of the push. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, well, no, no, this isn't good. He's got to do another dodge. Yeah, the one in nine, right? Yeah, protect himself from the one in nine. Which is, you know, he was absolutely right too. So it looked a bit weird, but that was it. It was to stop the one in nine killing him. So it was completely correct. From Olivia, there you go. 1-1 one, one draw. Um, interesting, interesting game of cat and mouse between the two Woodells there. And everything um, everything sort right thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic